Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? It's Hookah Anonymous, and you are now rocking with Mickey Truth. She live up to her name, not the fame. So make sure y'all subscribe to her channel and stay updated on what's real. Bye. Coming from where I come from. They doubted me, but I came up. I made it through the storm trying to conquer the world. I made it through the storm trying to conquer the world. Coming from where I come from. They doubted me, but I came up. I made it through the storm trying to conquer the world. I made it through the storm trying to conquer the world. Good reporting as Mickey. We love you, Mickey. Yo, good afternoon. <laughs> what's up, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Mickey Truth, a.k.a. the Queen of Paperwork. And I am back, okay? Not just with a video, but y'all know a couple of weeks. You know what? Before I get into all that, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to pull up. Your girl is dropping some more content. And as always, all information contained in this video is for entertainment, educational purposes only. All information used in this video is part of Fair Use Act. And any conclusions that you draw is on you, not me. So let's get it. So I told y'all I was going to try to do hot topics for breakfast. It's not working out, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do Middays with Mickey True, where I'm going to go over some of the top stuff that's on blog sites and i'm gonna just put my little spin to it if i can find paperwork on i'm gonna do it in real time and that's how we're gonna do it so y'all make sure y'all let me know if y'all like it okay so let's get straight to it because it's not gonna be a long video um so i did a podcast about mama d so i think we need to start there so shout out to hollywood unlock um said mama d gearing up to drop diss track and music video <laughs> Okay, and not no saying not protect the kingdom. Yo, I agree with the team over at Hollywood Unlocked. Mama D is definitely a mess. Okay, <laughs> but let's see what they got here. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I'm not even gonna lie, probably something I don't want to listen to, but nevertheless, yo, get your coin. Okay, and since we're on Hollywood on lot, let's see what else they got going on. Um, let's not what Yellow Beasy has a question for cigarette smoker. What's your question, Yellow Beasy? Coming from a non smoker, what does cigarettes do for y'all? He must have been bored. He must have been bored. I mean, but good question. I actually, you know what, Yellow Beasy, I actually wondered that myself, but hey, to each his own. Hold up. Excuse me. Naked man terrorizes Los Angeles apartment building. Neighbor saying he's been trying to break into homes. Whoa. Residents of an apartment complex in East Hollywood, especially along North Sereno Avenue, are living in fear due to a disturbing situation involving a naked man roaming around the hallways of their building. The ordeal began when a new tenant moved in and started threatening and harassing residents. Eventually, the police intervened and removed this troublesome individual from the premises. However, their release was short-lived as another tenant took over the apartment and began roaming the hallways in the nude. One resident stated that the management company has not been acting fast enough to resolve the issue, leaving them feeling vulnerable and unprotected. What? The police have been responsive and attentive to every call made by the residents, but it seems that the management company is not taking their concerns seriously. This lack of urgency has increased the anxiety and distress among the residents. Smells like a lawsuit who feel that their safety is being compromised. In addition to the immediate concerns of safety and security, the incident highlights border issues with the community the fact that a new tenant was able to move in and create a habit raises questions about the screening and vetting process conducted by the management company did hold up did they say border issues oh broader oh i was about to say huh okay my bad it also raises concerns about how they handle tenant disputes and provide support to residents in distressing situations. The situation at this East Hollywood apartment complex serves as a reminder of the importance of effective communication, swift action, and accountability when addressing safety concerns with, within residential communities. 
Residents should feel confident that their voices are being heard and that appropriate measures are being taken to ensure their well-being. Yo, real well written, Maurice, okay? Maurice, well written. I'm not even gonna lie, that was a well written um uh post. Yo, so this is the, this is being the terrorized thing. by a naked man at their apartment complex in East Hollywood. The they say he's been seen with a knife and has tried to break into their apartments. I would assume where Leanne Suter is live in East LA with more details and reaction. Leanne. David, residents in that apartment complex absolutely terrified, afraid of what could happen if that naked suspect is successful breaking into one of the apartments. A naked predator on the prowl in East Hollywood terrorizing an apartment complex. This naked person is, you know, roaming around our building with a weapon, not knowing what he can do to us. We need this to stop because this is terrorizing our whole building. Residents too frightened to be identified on camera say the suspect has been trying to break into apartments at the what complex the in North Sarana. Dozens of local residents say that they are being terrorized by a naked man. And a few times has been seen armed with a knife. The situation has gotten so out of hand that... Yeah, listen, I don't know the laws in California, but somebody coming through the window is huh, here in South Carolina could get shot for sure. Huh without any issues so oh yo i hope they get that under control because that's not cool people got kids like what the world hmm all right let's do one more from hollywood unlock oh let's do this one because i actually covered this and i may just do an update video depends drug dealer 72 connected to michael k williams death has been sentenced to two years in prison um, an elderly drug dealer, not elderly, drug dealer has been sentenced to two and a half years in prison for his involvement in the overdose death of Michael K. Williams. Williams, best known for his role as Omar Little in the hit st series, The Wire, tragically passed away in September 2021 after consuming heroin laced with fentanyl that he had purchased from a member of the dealer's crew, the drug dealer. Carlos Macy, 72, pleaded guilty to the charge. You know what? I actually did. Hold on. I actually did pull his stuff one time. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Why did it take me there? Look, they don't be playing no game. It took me straight to the doggone um, payment thing. I know. I know. Yeah. They be wanting their money on time. It's not even my due date yet. And they're already like, you, it's time. What was his name? Uh, Carlos Macy. 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 Okay, we found it. Yeah, I did pull this. It's been a minute, though. I don't even know. Did I do the video on this? I don't know. Well, let's see. Let's see. Is this plea agreement here? Did he do a plea agreement? Uh, bo -bo 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 bo 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 Okay, so the plea agreement is either not filed or it's just not public. Because it says here, dang, what was it? Oh, it was hell right here. And it says plea entered by Carlos Macy guilty of lesser offense as to count one. It got a transcript, but it's not um, available. It won't be available until after August 1st, 2023. However, um, yeah, so it's going to be a minute on that one. But anyway, let's see. Sentencing submission. Let's see what this one looks like. Boop, 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 boop. All right, let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I 
Mm-hmm. At least more would be sufficient, but not greater than necessary. Okay. So basically, he getting the time because the whole fentanyl situation that's going on. Yeah. Hey, it's look, he lucky, right? In my opinion, he's lucky they just gave him that instead of like a kingpin because they saying his crew was the one who sold it. So I think he's lucky on that note, you know. So. All right, well, I think that's enough here. Um, let's go to the next one, which is the shade room. Let's see what the shade room got going on. Do, 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 do. Oh, after living in a tent. DC man graduate as valedictorian of his high school after living in a tent for two years. Yo, shout out to this young man, okay? Um, it says, according to NBC Washington, Michael Jeffrey lived, a, lived in a tent in D.C. for two years before graduating as his high school's Valley Victorian. During the pandemic, Jeffrey lost both jobs in his home. Not having the diploma hindered Jeffrey's job search. He decided enough was enough and signed up for free adult high school. He attended Goodwill Excel Center for a year and successfully completed the program required to get his diploma. All right, shout out to him, but I'm not even going to lie. I actually thought this was like a, a teenager. I'm not even going to lie. I didn't know this was a grown man. But nevertheless, shout out to him uh, for doing that. Uh, let me see what's next. Let's see what Drake got going on. So, so it said, Ah, uh, Drake hit the stage with his mother and son. Look what you've done. A song where he talks about living with his single mother and things she went through raising him. Shout out to Drake. Okay, shout out to all the men that love their mama for sure. Now, I did play this on, um, I dropped this short. Let's see. Man, like, um, I don't spend time with my kids or, you know, I'm a deadbeat dad or that I would ever do anything to hurt my kids. All the other noise that people say about whatever they think my personal life is, that's my personal life. Right. And I would never make public statements about anything private of mine when it comes to who's in Look, I already posted as a short, but y'all check that out. Child, let me tell you, not I won't make statements, but you know what? I do recall when his baby mama was on what show was it? Basketball Wives or something? She was on. Um, she had a gag order. She came and talk about his son on there. I think they got a son or their child on there and him on there. So, my, my needs some smoke. Let's see, what is this? Brittany Renner said, give it up for the Grove. I'm not no playing music. Oh, uh, they're just trying to get me heat left and right today. Um, Let's Kiki Palmer. What Kiki got going on? Sad thing that can make you feel. Yep. Like, you yep. know what I mean? And because I always like guys, too, I was kind of like, well, we... We don't oh, have to talk about it. it. You know what I mean? Like, so it's like, <laughs> because I like guys too, it was like, you know, uh, that's just another little extra thing that, you know, no one really has to know about. I don't really have to live out. It. And then when I was around, I think, like, I felt that way or had those thoughts, I think, very young, right? Like, as a kid, when you first start thinking about liking. And then I think at like 12 or 13, they started coming back. As a teen, you know, as a teenager, when you really start kind of getting into your groove, and I kind of like was like, oh well, no, you know, I'll push you to, to the side, you know. But by the time I was like 17, 18, I was kind of like, I want to explore my life. You know, I want to like stop thinking that, stop judging, overthinking my thoughts, or or feeling like this isn't something that I can explore. There is like a just shout out to Kiki Palmer. I don't care what you say about Kiki Palmer, she be so raw and uncut and just so real with it. I actually I love listening to her um talk about things and that's you know she's speaking from a real point. I love it. I love it. I have Boosie again. Boosie says when it comes to the South in the streets, he comes before Jay Z. Now I'm not even gonna cap, okay? I'm not even gonna cap. I Y'all know I love Southern music anyway, so I mean, I'm not going to be too big on playing 
um up north music or west coast music um i have like certain ones i like like for example boogie with a hoodie i'll definitely listen to him um west coast um mm, I wouldn't say I per se like a rapper on the West Coast. Now I do like some of like YG songs, um, and Young Magnificence, cause that gang bang song, I love that song. But um other than that, I really don't listen to it. I don't even listen to Biggie and Tupac. So to me, Boosie is definitely on the on the playlist. Jay Z is not. Now when Jay Z is featured on certain things, like you know what I'm saying, like the Beyonce Drunk in Love, he's definitely on my playlist. But yeah. To me, I agree with this statement. Um, however, Mr. Truth probably would not agree with this statement, although he's a Boosie fan too, but he does listen to Jay-Z. So I may have to ask him if who he's playing first in the car. I should bother him at work. Let me see. Should I bother him at work? Where's my father? He might piss me out for um, calling him while he at work. Uh, I'm not going to do it because y'all not about to pick at me for getting cussed out. <laughs> But so to me, I definitely think that's not a far fetched statement. Um, let's go to No Jumper. Let's see what they got going on. Um, no, Lil Dirt speaks out and thanks his fans for supporting him while he was in the hospital. Uh, I thought he was about to talk, but he said, I'm almost healed. I appreciate the engine being on a thousand. Okay. That does segue to his song. Okay. Um,. But we already talked about that and the whole thing he felt with 6 9 Oh, he wrote it again. Got nothing to say about 6 9 He doing what he's supposed to do. Man, get up out of here. Boosie with that. Let it go. Let it go. Um, West Side Gun shoots his shot at Doja Cat. I want to steal Doja Cat from that weird-looking gamer dude that be saying racist and take her to the hood. Why you want to take her to the hood? She don't want to go to the hood. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she don't want to go. Um, let me see what else we got. Whoa. Harrison Ford stunt double sets himself on fire at SAG AFTRA strike rally. We are tired of being burnt by the AMPTP. Ooh. If y'all don't know, um, they're on strike currently. So. He looks just like Harrison Ford. So why you playing? So I just want to say he is a trained professional. Do not try this at home. But I can see the Harrison Ford resemblance for sure, for sure. Um, let me see. Khalid's security guard goes viral for falling twice mid sprint while running behind him after his set in Nashville. <laughs> He got up and went, ooh, 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 down, down again. Now, <laughs> but hey, I would be like, yo, show it. Slow down. That's why you got to have, you know, you got to be like, yo, I ain't running behind you today. Um, Ice Spice reveals she has always keeps an extra pair of panties in her purse. Um, The baddies that get it, get it. Okay, she just was trying to let it be known. She's a little wit wit, little wit wit. They see it. The baddies that get it, get it. All my panties are pink. I always keep a panty because, like, you just be having to change your panties. Like, you know what I'm saying? So the question is do you like take a little whole bag real quick and then change your panties? Or you just change your panties? Okay, Ice Spice, I see you. Um, uh, fake watch buster exposes Jason <laughs> for having multiple fake watches. That's great. How much is all this? Oh. Couple mil. Couple mil. Let me hold some. <laughs> ah, that's funny. All right. Let's go over to Say Cheese TV and <clears throat> see what they got going on. We almost at our time mark. I said these won't be longer than 30 minutes. So let's see. The Scat Pat is officially heading to Sacramento. 28-year-old California man only spent $10 to enter the giveaway and is now driving it back to the West Coast with it title in hand. Okay, shout out to you. Um, what is this about? 
Not not saying the morning fans are asking for a Tank Davis versus I don't know nothing about boxing. So I'm gonna leave that one alone. Okay. Um. What gorilla talking about? Ooh, I swear to God, for y'all know when I get started, I do not stop on my life. Who she gonna screenshot me? That's the last thing you do. For what the fuck? You don't, you don't screenshot big glow food. I'm big glow. Okay, big glow. And say, why my friends used to let me look like this in high school, then had a nerd to be messy. <laughs> okay, I love seeing the before. They were famous and now, because obviously, look, she got the same energy, even with the bag. When she was broke, she had the same energy. And see, that's the type of time I'll be on, okay? I'm just saying. Um, Tay Savage explained why he never liked smoking weed, drinking, or doing drugs. Take one. Drink? I don't really like drinking, smoke, none of that. I don't really like mm. it. Why is that? It just never was for me. I just don't like the feeling. Drinking make your stomach hurt the next morning. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. That's that's true. I need to stop drinking because it don't do me right. Um, what is this? Bobby Spurter speaks. If you're 21, you're too old to have ops. If you're 20, hold on. Once you pass 21, you can't have ops, bro. You too old for ops. When you're about 21, guys, you gotta be out getting business and ish. Bro, Bobby then told people who are 30 and older who have ops to get your dumb ass on. Bobby explained that you're supposed to be bossed up at a certain age, getting money, and not focus on your ops. Um, I mean, having ops, per se, and all that ain't the same as actively engaging and caring about what they got going on type thing. Let me see. How old is Bobby Smarter? Smarter. Cause I'm just inquiring minds wants to know. He was born in 1994. So how old was he when he got locked up? What did he get locked up for? Let me see. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, so 2015, he was in Rikers Island. I'm going to get my calculator child. Cause, um, let's just see if he's standing. Because you know one thing, we got a whole... These celebrities accountable for some of the stuff they say. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 2015, he was in Rikers Island. Mine is 1994. He was 21. And he was engaging in a... Let me just share it. Took part in a brawl that included members from the Bloods and Crips street game in November 2016. Smarter was involved in a brawl between several inmates that led to him losing his phone privilege. So he would have been, what, 22 at that point. In 2017, he was moved to Clinton Correctional Facility in Upstate to finish his sentence in protective custody. Okay, so he was past 21. So maybe, right, maybe now he's just like, based on his experience, you shouldn't be doing that at that age. Maybe that's what he meant because obviously he's not preaching what he did, but he probably is showing, sharing that to have somebody learn from. I'm just saying, you know, maybe. Um, but shout out to him for sharing that with us. Uh, let me see. All right. And this is going to be the last one for Say Cheese. It's a Timberview high school shooter sentenced to 12 years for attempted capital murder. He was facing between five to 99 years that is crazy he should have got 99 years because people need to stop playing at these schools for real Tim timothy simpkins 19 was sentenced to 12 years in prison monday he was convicted of attempting capital murder i never heard of attempting capital murder but for shooting and injuring three people inside timberview high school in 2021 after a violent classroom brawl on October 6, 2021, Simpkins pulled a gun from his waistband and fired towards the student who attacked him. Zachris Selby was shot twice more after he fell into the floor in the hallway. Shelby, another student, and a teacher were injured and survived. Prosecutors say the Timberview shooting was retribution for a robbery one week prior. Simpkins' claim was claim was claimed he was robbed of drugs and money and also was pistol whipped during a meetup at an Arlington racetrack. Simpkins was caught on surveillance video shooting at a vehicle driving away. Prosecutors pushed for Simpkins to serve life 
Senate showing threatening text message sent by Simpkins and his internet searches just days before Simpkins opened fire inside Timberview High. A punishment between five to 99 years was on the table. The jury unanimously decided Simpkins' punishment would be 12 years. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm all for, you know, redeeming yourself. But this one, y'all, I kind of feel like may not learn from that. I'm just saying, may not. Um, let's go over to DJ Academics IG. Um, okay, we did that. We already talked about Melly. Uh, oh, Bronny James suffers cardiac arrest during USC workout. It says, the story is via TMZ. Shout out to TMZ. LeBron James' son, Bronny, was rushed to hospital after suffering cardiac arrest during a basketball workout. TMZ Sports has learned. A James family spokesperson tells TMZ um, Sports, yesterday while practicing, Bronny James suffered a cardiac arrest. Medical staff was able to treat Bronny and take him to the hospital. He is now in stable condition and no longer at ICU. We ask for respect and privacy for the James family, and we will update media when there is more information. Um, the spokesperson continues, LeBron and Savannah wish to publicly send their deepest thanks and appreciation to the USC medical and athletic staff for their incredible work and dedication for the safety of their athletes. So, listen, I mean, again, cardiac arrest is serious because that's heart. Okay, that's your heart. Um Hey, I, I don't want to speculate on it, but I do wish a speedy recovery for him because I actually went through cardiac arrest one time and it was definitely scary and it was, I ended up having have surgery. So yes, um, dang, prayers to the whole family for sure. Um, let me see here. What's next? Aaron Hernandez's brother arrested after allegedly playing the school shooting. You know what? These brothers is crazy. Okay. I'm going to leave that one there. Uh, what's this one? Oh, you brought it up because my manager, Derek Dudley, is doing a documentary on the DA, DA's office. Uh -oh. And they said since Thug and the YSL and the YFN crews have been locked up, the murders have gone down 35%. You know what that. I'm saying? So I think when you look at life, mm. And you look at where we are, Atlanta's in a reconstruction musically yeah. and who we are as a city. Well, so, I mean, y'all, to be honest, with that, I mean, is it down? Maybe. I mean, they took a lot of people down. I wouldn't per se just say them because it was like three other groups that went down too. And then, like, what does that mean? Is that the statistics for, like, that area of Atlanta or, like, the whole Atlanta or, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that can make you know, make make or break the, the situation too. Um, yeah, so that's it for that one. Let's go see what Skull got going on on his page, okay? Because he normally have um, <laughs> shout out to Chris Skull, okay, in the whole Skull game. M me checking out Electric Bill. Please don't be high, Electric Bill. Not Bobby Brown high. <laughs> Yo, leave it to Skull. To make sure we get a good laugh before we end men days with Mickey, okay? Cause that's funny. Um, oh shoot, what's this? The internet found a picture of Hassan Campbell's son after he blamed Gilly the kid for his son death. Oh my god, are you serious? Uh like leave man, let that man mourn. Oh, that's his son. He played the mental game that was crazy. Mm -hmm. So moving right along, somewhere down the line, with her leaving him with this person and that person and that person, he was getting busted. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, okay. I mean, you wouldn't even know that's a boy, would you? I mean, I don't know. Y'all let me know. I mean. Well, I think this has been a productive midday with Mickey. Like I said, uh, well, midday with Mickey Truth. Um, I, I feel like this will probably work better for me because I'm able to record it early and then drop it after, you know, lunchtime. And, you know, y'all still get to hear my voice on some of the hot topics. 
Um, also, you know, I will be dropping more content video. And hold up, before you know, I'm almost tripping. Y'all make sure y'all hit MickeyTruth.com. Okay. So like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend to pull up on MickeyTruth.com and get that merch. Okay. Get that work. Okay. And make sure you follow me on all podcast streaming pa platforms for Mickey Truth, Voice of Truth. Okay. Apple, Amazon, Spotify iHeart, all that good stuff. Let's run it up. And as always, I appreciate everybody for rocking out with your girl. Because without without y'all, okay, I wouldn't have a voice to be heard. But because y'all listen to me, y'all appreciate what I have to say on topics, is why I'm here and I can do middays with Mickey Truth, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close out for now. But as always, y'all already know what time it is. Hello!